Hi, uh, in this video I will give an overview of debugging in LabVIEW. So what is uh, actually debugging? Uh, debugging uh, is the process of locating and fixing bugs or errors in your uh, computer program um, or in this case your LabVIEW program. Um, LabVIEW has powerful features for debugging your code. Um, it provides four different um, debugging techniques. One called a uh, broken run arrow, meaning if your run button is um, broken, um, then there are some errors in your code. And then you can click the button in order to see what's wrong with your code. Another technique is highlight execution. Um, using this technique, you can see the flow and the values um, inside your program while the code is running. Another technique is probes. You can click on different wires uh, inside your uh, block diagram and see the values that are flowing into the different wires, which is uh, very handy to see in some cases. And finally, uh, you have breakpoints, which is also um, available in other uh, programming uh, environments like Visual Studio etc. So then you can just uh, cl uh, click uh, or set breakpoints in different places in your code and when uh, the code executes it will stop at the breakpoints and then you can see what happens in order to find bugs in your application. So let's uh, start with the broken run arrow. Uh, as you see in this example, the run button is uh, not uh, white as it should be. It's uh, broken, meaning it's that is an error in your, inside your code. And then you can click on this uh, button and this error list will pop up. And then uh, depending on how many errors you have, you would have the errors in this this list and then you can double click it on the error and then uh, the lab view will go to the place in your code where the error is um, has uh, taken place and also you see a detailed error message here so using these um, um, techniques it's a good way to find errors in your code so let's uh, open LabVIEW and uh, demonstrate this uh, broken arrow. So now I have opened uh, LabVIEW and created a blank VI. So here on the left I have the front panel where I create my uh, user interface. And on the right I have the block diagram where I create my uh, code. So let's start by creating our front panel for my user interface. In this case we just create two numerics and a third numeric and then we want to add the, the, those two and get the answer in this uh, in this numeric so just let's just find and uh, add function and add those together like this so two inputs here and the output should go to this one but as you see, there are some errors in our code. You see it on this broken error, both on the front panel and on the block diagram. And you also see it here. There are some broken uh, line here, indicating there are some error in this area. But let's start to click on this um, broken error and get the list of errors. And then you see you have uh, connected an output of add to a control, change the control to an indicator. So then you can also double click on it and then you see so the error is in this area of the code. Uh, but the error message was, uh, was uh, quite clear. In this case we cannot use a numeric control, we need to use an indicator. So then I can just right click and change to indicator and then you see the line here the wiring is no longer bad and the broken arrow was uh, disappearing and the run button is ready. So now I can just click the run button. Let's just enter some values. 
and click run and you see the program works as expected next uh, debugging debugging technique is uh, so-called highlight execution then we come in the toolbar in the, the lab view programming environment turn on highlight execution and then when you run our program then you will see um, the program goes very slow and you can see the values that are floating in the different wires let's open um, labu and uh, test this debugging technique so we can use the same example as in the previous um, example so here we can just click on this highlight execution and then we can run our program and then you see you can see the value floating in different wires four five and the output will be nine as you see here using the highlight execution in this this small uh, program is uh, no good but for a larger program this is a very good technique in order to find bugs in your program and then you can see the flow the values etc in order to find where in your code the error is happening a third uh, debugging technique is uh, so-called probes so you can click anywhere in your program in your block diagram on your wires and then right click and select probe in that way so in this example i have selected one probe here one probe here and one probe here and then if i open the probe watch window i can see all my probes and when the program are executed i can see the values on the different probes like this so let's go to labu and uh, see this uh, debugging technique so we use the same uh, program so i just right click on the wires and select probe and this probe watch window appears i can also select or create more probes and then you see they will appear here in the probe list like this and then when i execute the program then you see the values here in the probe watch window for the different so here number nine is here double click number t is here and then you see the value and probe number 11 is here and then you see the value here so this is how we uh, uh, create and use probes uh, in order to debug our program the next uh, debugging technique is uh, breakpoints uh, breakpoints is um, a good way to find uh, bugs in your program also many other programming environment like visual studio etc also have our breakpoints so then you can click in your code in your block diagram and right click and then go to um, breakpoint and set breakpoint and when you set breakpoint a small red circles appear in your code to show where the different breakpoints are so when you start to execute your program your program will stop the execution at the breakpoints and combine with the probes you can see the values um, inside the, the, this part of your program and together with the um, breakpoint toolbar you can step in or out of uh, these breakpoints um, so you can use a right click in your code to set breakpoint but you can also open the tools palette and then you have this set clear breakpoint here in the tools palette you also have a breakpoint manager so if you create many breakpoints you will get a list of all and uh, the breakpoints uh, in and if you have multiple vi's uh, typically you have use uh, many sub vi's etc then you can see which vi you have set the breakpoint here and the state because you can uh, by default uh, the breakpoints are enabled but here you can also disable them 
or you can uh, delete them. So let's see, go to LabVIEW to see how these uh, breakpoints are working. So we use the same example and then you can just right click some places, select a breakpoint and set breakpoint and this small red circle appears in, on the line or the wire. So I set one here, I set another one here. Or I have, could have used the tools palette and click on this um, set clear breakpoint either to clear them or to set them like this and I also can open um, the breakpoint manager here so I can have this open at the same time so let's run our program now and see what's happening click the run button and here was the first breakpoint you see the code is stop stops to execute here at my first breakpoint and then we can use probes etc in addition to these breakpoints to see the values inside our program in addition we have these um, breakpoint tools in our toolbar toolbar you can step over over add this add function in this case we can uh, step over and we can also finish a uh, block diagram so we can use these um, different functions together with our breakpoints so we can just now in this case just step or add in order to go to the next breakpoint which is this one um, so this um, technique is very useful uh, if you have larger programs with uh, lots of sub VIs and if you use state machine uh, principles etc so this, then this uh, debugging technique is uh, very handful uh, very useful to use so make sure if you have errors in your code so make sure to use uh, these debugging techniques use the highlight execution use these uh, probes and use these uh, breakpoints together all together, all these techniques are very hand, uh, useful uh, in order to find bugs in your program. So I guess it's almost uh, impossible to avoid bugs in your program, but here are some techniques that you should follow, try to follow in order to at least try to avoid as many bugs as uh, possible. So always uh, structure your code properly and avoid so-called uh, spaghetti code I will show an example later um, always make sure the flows go from left to right so don't wire from right to left in your program make sure you to use sub-VIs sub-VIs are like functions in all the programming language so it's a good way to structure your code and reuse code and then you can test your sub vi before you use it in another vi um, and that's a good way to to make it easy to find bugs in your program and also to avoid bugs uh, you should also try to use the state machine programming technique i will explain this uh, this technique in another video but it's a way to organize your program uh, which makes it much easier to to create your program and to maintain it and also to avoid bugs and also to find bugs and also try to make it simple don't uh, make um, over complicated programs so try to make it simple when you when you program your lab your code or program and also keep in mind that others should understand you, uh, your code and also you if you open your own code in let's say a year or so you should still know how it works so try to follow these rules and then your code will be almost uh, bug free so here you see an example of so-called uh, spaghetti code this is just a small example then you see the the wiring goes everywhere 
uh, but it should be like this so it should go from left to right always not in this case it goes and goes and the wiring goes um, all places here another example here have used uh, labels um, both on controls and indicators with useful name I have used labels uh, on my uh, SEBIs and also have made SEBIs you see here um, the same code appears several times so why don't you use SEBI uh, to structure your code better so make sure the flow goes from left to right use SEBIs, use labels, comments, etc. in order to make a clean and structured code if you want to learn more about LabVIEW you should uh, open this link in your web browser then you will go to this uh, LabVIEW training and resources page where you can find lots of LabVIEW resources like uh, videos, tutorials, exercises example code and example applications so just open this one and you will find lots of resources about LabVIEW so I guess that's all so good luck uh, creating your LabVIEW program without the bugs and make sure to use these uh, debugging techniques